Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Stand Upish. We've got a hell of a show for you planned today. It's April 1st. I don't have any April Fool's jokes, but I'll tell you this really quick. I've been working out, and this guy today, I'm in the gym changing. Some guy standing next to me, bare ass naked, rips a big fart and doesn't say a word about it. I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm nowhere. You know, I know we're in a locker room, oh, but holy cow, man. That was crazy. Uh, At least say April Fool's or something. Is, but etiquette, anyway, is etiquette different in the locker room? I mean, like, like if I had farted in, the, in my pants, I wouldn't have said anything to anybody. No. Well, and I mean, I think, you know, <laughs> even in a locker room, maybe take a couple of steps away or go into a stall and fart. Don't yeah. just... Stand there and rip one as I'm changing into my street clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a. I'm Are you all right a... if they say April Fool's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. That'd be I funny guess. as hell. Dude. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> April Fool's. Yeah. Like, That'd damn, a... dude. I hope, hope you didn't do any squats today. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Double shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> it is damn, April John. 1st. That was crazy, man. <laughs> I bet it that was. Wow. I bet it was. April first, we've got Rick Bryan, uh. Eugene Kenny, <laughs> and me. It's twenty twenty four. Hey y'all. If you're looking in the future, you can figure out what date it was. And we're gonna get so going. We already have What up, Ken? Good to see you, man. Thanks yeah, for showing back. up. <laughs> hey Ken. Yeah, I'm back from twenty twenty two, man. That was a quick two years. Hey So how are you, Chris? Oh, look at that. Chris, we got people in here already <coughs> waiting Dude, to see us. I want to come see what you what sing it? somewhere, Krista. I do. Uh, seriously, I want to. She's got a great, what a voice. What a voice. Just anyway. Oh, okay. yeah. oh that's cool. That yeah. Fun. I thought you said you want to come see me sing somewhere. <laughs> no, John, like, I've heard your voice. Yeah, well, I want to see that too. I want to see that. <laughs> yeah, man. <sighs> I probably would part if I was singing, trying to hit a note. Yeah, uh, but anyway. We have hey, a Eugene, show. hold up. You were taught you were uh, commenting on my attire. Scarface. Oh, oh, yeah. The yeah. Scarface. Uh huh. Me and Frankie went to this concert last night uh, at the Ogden Theater. Uh, you all know, you know Scarface, you know, from the 90s. Same rapper. 40 years now, he's been going at it. It's my favorite rapper. I've had the opportunity to open up for him one time as a comedian because wow. my homies, yeah, my homies were opening up, up for him as rappers. And then they asked me to open up the show for them. Can I tell so you that I, I have no him. idea who Scarface is other you than You ain't the never movie. heard of Scarface? No. The Ghetto Boys? I've heard of the Ghetto Boys. That's Scarface. That's Which Scarface, one? Bushwick Bill, and Scarface is Scarface. Bushwick Bill, and then you have uh, Willie D. Scarface oh. is the main one who went off on his own and made like albums and after. He's been making albums this whole time. I sit alone Since in my the room. In the, is that Scarface? That's him. Okay. That's all him. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, cool. that's yeah, him. All right. So this concert that we went to was him with the live band. Oh. So it's not him with the DJ or anything. He's orchestra. He's like, he's turning around. He's telling him to calm down the bass and bring up right. the drum. What do you know? Everything. I was like, this is fucking tight. Oh. And Frankie had never seen him live. She's listened to me, you know, all the music for all these years. She knows right. of him. But this is the first time she saw him live. And with that band and him orchestra, dude, it was so it was way better experience than I've ever had before it at sounds- a rap concert. Sounds like you had a it was ball, cool. Man. Seriously. Sounds yeah, like we had a, a great ball. time. So. Excellent. Right. Rocking all the attire. This is my number one rapper all from <laughs> since since the early nineties. You know, I've been with this. People say Tupac and Biggie. Nah, nah, right here. Face mob, baby. So yeah, if you if you out of state or whatever and he coming to your town, you like rap, you like Scarface, check this show out, man. This shit's tight. Cool. Right so, yeah, on. Start I let you know what's going on while I was Thank you. Off. Thank you. You're up first, right? The, I thought it was the movie. Yeah, me too. A lot of people do. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. It's rap. Yeah, yeah the so exact lyric that you spit out was him. <laughs> I'm sorry, wow. Don. No, no, you're good. You're good. So, we have. Oh shit! I almost knocked something over there. We have three <laughs> segments tonight. One, two, three, and the first one is Rick Bryan with "Don't Be Dumb." So take it away, Don't Rick. Be dumb. Hey. Like, what's up? There we go. See, it was just Easter. Let's start off with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> this is AI at it again. 
So what I ended up looking up was Late Night with the Devil. Have you heard of this movie, anybody? I have not. Yeah, I've heard of it. You did? I hadn't heard of it. I had not heard of it. But it said Late Night with the Devil earned $666,666 at Sunday's box office. What? No lie. Yeah, they say for real. It says, uh, sometimes reality is both stranger than fiction and also oddly fitting that the case come, uh, that's the case when it comes to the box office numbers, the IFC's Late Night with the Devil, the found footage horror film, which stars a couple people, and more open in theaters this weekend. And while at it, <laughs> and while it came in sixth overall <laughs> at the box office <laughs> with 2.8 million, it's the film's Sunday box office that is particular interest. That brought in six hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-six dollars, and they were ranked sixth overall in the box office. They said, "No, we are not making this up." Dude, that's, I was like, "Oh shit!" That's some insanity <laughs> happening right there. Wow. Right. Wow. What's going on there? And so I asked AI again. I typed it in and I said, "Make me some," and this is what it came up with. And it came up with a couple of different pictures, and I noticed in each picture it did not have an eye in devil like it would it left the eye out of devil which i thought was uh why is that a little interesting i don't know what oh i thought you you had you knew no i just asked the ai to do it and it kept bringing this up and it said late night with the devil but every time it spelled devil it was like this without the eye because the movie's spelled with devil with the eye Huh, devil without the eye. I'm not sure. Maybe there was a movie before without the eye. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if I think it's an AI thing to where it won't talk about the devil or uh, I don't know. No. By the way, hey, Rose. So, what up, Rose? Hello, How all. Doing? Why do eggs like April Fool's Day? Because they love practical yolks. Oh, waka waka. <laughs> there we go, Rose. <laughs> uh, <up> right away. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lordy, Lordy. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this caught my attention with all the... Go ahead. They said they didn't make that up with the 666666 bucks. I don't know. No, man. that's exactly... Well, I mean, that's what caught my attention. That's Dude. why I started reading. And it's like, no, we did not make this up. It made $2.8 million in the opening weekend. But on that uh-huh. Sunday... They said it made six hundred and sixty-six thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars. I am I'm I'm a lot I'm I'm a lot like John. I am very very skeptical, and yeah. you know, I'm 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 picturing some guy like going, okay, what did we make Sunday between eight and nine? And then they said, you know, this amount, and then okay, between nine eight and seven this much right and then they whittled it down to get that number but i'm a big i'm a big believer in skepticism it's i don't believe in coincidence and that would be a one hell of a coincidence and they say this is biggest the biggest ifc's ever pulled in you know they're ifc movies they're the independent ones Uh uh-huh they're Mm -hmm. saying this one is the biggest pull that they ever had on opening weekend i just see some guy at the box office going you know, they go, hey, we're at 666 all the way around. He's like, let everybody in for free. Fuck it. <laughs> exactly. Ah, this is the number. Off. We're gonna, we're gonna... <laughs> this is the what one up, we're going to use right here. <laughs> hey, Angela, how are you? All right, Hello. What are we doing here? Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, don't be dumb. You know, yeah. 666. I don't yeah. know about that one. Yeah, what up, kinda, Sarah? That's kind of nuts, but that's cool. All right, let's see. I wonder why that's only showing John. That never mind. That's inside stuff that we don't need to know. Hi, Sarah. How are you? What are you hey, looking Sarah. at, John's? What? No, stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Keep it inside, fellas. We know it's, what's going on. There. It's early night with the devil. Uh huh. Talk to me now. <laughs> okay, moving that? along. Man. Oh, that's the devil. That's a, <laughs> isn't that a cicada? <laughs> a cicada. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this one caught my attention because the the headline for this said cicadas are nature's weirdos. Made me laugh. And then they said they pee stronger than us and an STD can turn them into zombies. Well, heard me right. (laughs) These are the little things that clicking in the trees, right? Whenever you can hear them all the time in the trees, right? 
I like if they're pissing stronger than humans, we'd be getting so. Are they really pissing on our backs and telling us it's raining? What's going I, on here? I think that I think that pissing pissing stronger is a matter of uh, smaller hose and greater pressure, right? And that, and that, and that, it's like, but but the other one, you know, an STD turns everybody into a zombie, don't? That ain't nothing well, new. So. No. <laughs> Ahead, no, John. I believe it. I believe it. But who the hell is measuring <laughs> the stream strength of a cicada pee? In, you oh, know what I mean? Like, dude. And then go, do they go, well, they have a cicada right next to them, and they're both <laughs> at the urinal pee, and go, man, that cicada is really. Not good. only do they compare it to humans, they say <laughs> it's more than elephants. Oh, uh, come on, man. This well, here we go. The, the periodical like cicadas people. that are about to infest. So here they come. We're talking about the devil a minute ago. <laughs> well, here comes the apocalypse. What was it? The locusts that were in the Bible that took yes. over? Uh-huh. Okay. So uh, the periodical cicadas that are about to infest two parts of the United States aren't just plentiful. They're downright weird. These insects are the strongest urinators in the animal kingdom with flows that put humans and elephants to shame. They have <laughs> pumps heads that pull moisture from the roots of trees allowing them to feed for more than a decade underground. They are rescuers of caterpillars, and they they are being ravaged by sexual transmitted diseases that turn them into zombies. So they're able to pull this moisture and everything down into the ground uh-huh. but for only so long. So they say they're about to come up. They're about to do what they need to do because they're running out of moisture down there. <clears throat> That's so why they come inside- up so off like that well, yeah. on, a, on a regular basis like that? I had no they're idea. gonna they're not regular basis it's they're gonna come up like a plague and it's talking about hitting uh what was it indiana and ohio i think are gonna get hit the worst in the united oh, states <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of either one of those <laughs> yeah. like a, i'm okay with that <laughs> so you could sit you're saying that these zombies can piss right so you get hit they say they piss stronger piss. than elephants but then the question I have too is, they don't have that much piss in them, do they? I mean, that's true. There's I, not a whole lot of cicada piss. I've never Maybe like my grandma it. say, full of piss and vinegar. They got more vinegar in them, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got more vinegar in them. I don't know, man. But I'll tell you this: I'm not going to go try to find a cicada and watch it piss. But they don't uh, hang out long either. I mean, cicada. The lifestyle of a cicada is not very long at all, right? doesn't say the lifespan. It just says uh, these ones are lazy, fat, and slow. Yeah. They're extraordinarily easy to capture for us. Wow. And for their predators. I think this, the, uh, whoever Sparta, wrote this has got a thing against cicadas. I don't know. I'm not sure. I got, I got, <laughs> I've got an uncle who must be a cicada. He's lazy, <laughs> oh. he pisses like an elephant. Huh? Oh, Lordy. Here's the Lordy. zombie part. It says oh. there's a deadly sexual transmitted disease, a fungus, that turns cicadas into zombies and causes their private parts to fall off. <laughs> oh, damn. Mm. It's a real problem <laughs> that it is even stranger than science fiction. This is a sexually transmitted zombie disease. I can uh, completely this guy, understand Cooley, that. He has seen areas in the Midwest where up to 10% of the individuals were infected. The fungus is also a type of... That has hallucinate oh shit hallucinatory effects on birds that would let them when they would eat them. So the birds would eat these and they'd start tripping. People are gonna start eating cicadas now. <laughs> this white fungus yeah. takes over the male. Their gonads are torn from. Oh, God damn! That's a good this question. This white fungus takes over the male. Their gonads are torn from their body, and chalky spores are spread around the nearby cicadas. The insects are sterilized, not killed. Ooh. This way, the fungus uses the cicadas to spread to others. That's Damn. a great idea, Sarah. Goes. Can't you just water so, your plants and keep them from coming out of the ground? I guess. I don't know. What the <laughs> hell's going on there? But this guy, is not, he, he's talking about this fungus is making them the walking dead. So this is sort of like, uh, uh, what is it called? HBO just had a series, uh, The Last of Us. It was a mushroom that was turning these people into, uh, was it, not, was it <laughs> zombies? Like it was zombies? Problem. But were they, did these people, after they got the mushrooms, did their testicles fall off and stuff too, or no? Yeah, they didn't say their genitals <laughs> off or nothing like that. No. 
No, but it's like it's sort of like that movie, but it's with the cicadas. I don't. But I found that interesting. I found this right after I saw the Devil Six Six Six, and I'm like, oh, and then they're invading. Here we go. A lot of world. this I can understand. I would be a zombie too if my dick fell off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can completely understand that. But <laughs> yeah, Walking Dead after your pee pee falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Jesus, Rick, what Conference. are you doing, man? <laughs> hey, no. uh, <laughs> so they when they said the that they feed more than us and uh, elephants, that's when I was like, well, this is a don't be done. <laughs> no, <laughs> come on now. These things are in the trees, man. We'd be getting pissed on. Bad. Ken, Ken wants to know do they eat other cicadas? Do they eat other cicadas? Uh huh. Well, I'm not an expert on cicadas. I just looked this up right now. So uh, let's see if the if article says anything. Boom, boom. I Ooh. don't see anything about them eating others. Oh, man. Here's an idea. What if, what if zombie, like what if that's how you got to be a zombie was a sexually transmitted disease? And it was like, <laughs> that would be like terrible, man. Oh, my God. The world turning it oh, anyway. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just in my Andy head. Johnson right been all right. <laughs> Who'd be all right? <laughs> Magic Johnson. Me? Oh, I thought he you meant me. This. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't offer. We're calling you Magic Johnson now. <laughs> Keep those inside <laughs> jokes to yourself, fellas. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. it. Don't be dumb like scientists watching bugs pee and then going, man. Oh, you want to talk at, about scientists? Pee. Oh, you want to talk about scientists? Move on to the next one. Oh, shit. We're moving on to the next yeah, one? Yeah, I'm set up like that. The devil moved wow. me into the I apocalypse, like which moved me into scientists, oh, which moved me into Mike this. Mike Brilliant. This is nuts out, motherfucker. Oh, no. That was quick, John. That was good. That was quick. That was good. That was good. That was, was quick. Uh. This this guy right here is a scientist. Uh, so the article reads: Brilliant scientist pleads guilty to running Breaking Bad style meth lab after Whoa. inadvertently calling the cops on himself. Jesus. Yeah, he's that fucking smart. He's jackass. So uh, Long <clears throat> Long Island scientist. Uh, Copped to running a Breaking Bad style meth lab that initially landed on police's radar when he called about a break in at a facility last year. Matthew Lewinsky or whatever, 23, he's only 23. That damn, he wow. looks like shit. Fucking Accidentally idiot. called the cops on himself when he dialed 911 around 3 30 in the morning. Uh, he said there was a burglary in progress and it was purported <laughs> establishment at the Quantitative Laboratories, LLC. When Suffolk. <laughs> Uh, county police reached the scene. Officers uh, found broken glass in the entrance of the lab and the facility, which they eventually realized was secretly manufacturing and pumping out meth and phenobines and other controlled substances, including the hallucinogenic ooh, dimethylopatamine. Okay. So there's a new hallucinogenic out there with the big word called dimethylamphetamine. Whatever you can Google that one. <clears throat> Matthew's dumbass called the cops, and they now have more than 100 items of lab equipment, chemical reagents, and solvents that go into the meth were found, along with three ounces of meth, 625 thousand milligrams of pure ketamine, and 20 <laughs> plastic jugs of gamma or something, which is similar to the date rape drug. Oh, GHB. God damn. Yeah, he don't look brilliant. He looks stupid. He is looks right? as stupid as his dumb ass is. Is that Florida? <clears throat> is it Florida? <laughs> Suffolk County. Where is Suffolk County? I think that's I think Florida. That's in Virginia. Oh, okay. is it? All right, cool. Maybe. I don't know. I'm I don't trying know. to see here. That's a, that's a rough yeah, life. 23. That's a rough life. Yeah, man. Yeah. 23. God damn. He looks like he's yeah. divorced with three kids <laughs> and shit. The fuck 23. <laughs> Your life hasn't even started yet, bud. What the hell's wrong with you? Don't be less with I'll meth does right there, people. I'll so. bet you he can pee like a cicada, though. I bet he can. <laughs> I bet he can. <laughs> yeah, don't say it. Just says Suffolk County, so oh. wherever that is, that's where that dumbass is doing this shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesus. So he's going down. Oh, you've already moved along. All right, fuck oh, me. So <laughs> <laughs> I I Moving sorry. along. This is for you guys. Boomer bonus day here. This is your day wow, to day, right. boomers. All right, we need yeah. a signal. <laughs> Damn it, we need a signal. Signal, I was still talking about the last <laughs> goddamn thing. <laughs> Shit. 
You know what? New York, because it came out of the New York Post. Oh, okay. Suffolk oh, County, New, New York, York Post. Okay, yeah. so it's New yeah. York. You are so correct. Yeah. You are so correct. Boom, Let's New York. See. There you go, Angela, right there. Yes. must have been one of the seats. <laughs> they said he was brilliant in the goddamn... Uh... <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> he probably still has cicadas, too. He was mixing cicadas. All right, National the... Day, ladies oh. and gentlemen. Today is, you know, April <clears throat> Fool's Day. But then oh. we got to add on all these other stupid days, and uh, mm-hmm. here's the newest one is Boomer Bonus Day. Is celebrated on April 1st every year. Don't know why Boomer Bonus Day is? Well, neither do we. So have you ever been to a store and seen a senior citizen get a discount on the 1st of April? I have you not. you get the senior citizen discounts out there 1st of April? Fuck no, I don't even get them on the 2nd of April. <laughs> no, you know? shit. no shit. No <laughs> shit. Um, AARP, I get the course. AARP discount because they send me a card and I have it in my wallet. Well... Uh-huh. On this day, you should be able to get discounts celebrating nice. Baby Boomers Day if you yeah. were born between 46 and 64. Uh, so, yeah, I guess the population size of Boomers is estimated to be about 71.6 million in the USA. Mm-hmm. Up to 21% of the population. Oh, they're praising Boomers for having kids. Why? Well, you don't praise Mexicans for having Good. the kids. Would... What's up? They've been doing that forever. It wasn't just a brief period Boomers. of time. The Mexicans are still popping them out. <laughs> I would just like to say that Boomers are the worst people left on the planet right now. <laughs> I mean, now seriously, man. This, boomers are the, the very worst generation left on the planet right now. And I'm one of them. That's I'm, Eugene I'm Kinney. Yeah. There you go. John, man. you seem I'm offended. A boomer. I, I know it. I, I'm saying. <laughs> I was sitting here going, aren't you guys up for that category? What the fuck is uh, happening here? I'm just saying. I'm so, I'm my day job. Than a fucking zombie cicada, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. oh <laughs> you're anyway. just saying go ahead eugene no yeah. no look at no, rose's just... car now nah, look at rose i'm at eugene don't move along well, wait 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 rose. oh yeah don't start sputtering this time for now shit. yeah answer her <laughs> what i'm saying and I, I okay all right maybe i generalized too much the boomers <laughs> that 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 i know here on you know are are not the worst but there are some boomers out there quite a few of them who are what you or what they describe as never woke people and the boomers yeah, yeah. Most of them are pretty horrible people. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, most of them are. Yeah, keep pre- going to the they comments. Have been, brother, keep bringing up the comments. They have been brainwashed <laughs> to the point. They have been lied to to the point in their education, and the things that most boomers believe to be 100 percent fact, <laughs> a lot of it is 100 percent crap. I'm off the show. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know. Which I love boomer you, are you? Uh, I'm just saying. There are a lot of boomers out there just hoping that they die before anything changes in this country. There you go. Good times. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. No, don't fucking right. cut back to me, you bastard! What you <laughs> and now back to don't be dumb. All right, and that, those comments that is, were from Eugene Kinney. <laughs> that is, don't be dumb. Thank you very much for that now, segment, Rick. We love you. All right, John. Wait, wait, wait. We got to do a thousand consecutive take a <laughs> yeah, they go wow. get him, Rose. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, cicada piss in your ear and break your eardrum with all the pressure. What are you yeah. talking about? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, John. Man. No, I was just going to say do we have, uh, you know, before we get to the next segment, we should talk about Rick's sponsor. You're, 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 running, you're running the show, man. You're, it's completely right. up to you. Okay. We're just here. There we go. <laughs> you, know, you let me know whenever you want. Why, thank you, John. I appreciate that. This episode was brought to you by From the Window to the Wall. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, for all your handyman needs established in 2014. Whatever you need done, holla at your boy. I just heard from Maria the other day. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, she hit me up last moment. I wasn't able to help out. But you give me a little bit of moment's time. I got your back. You know, I am a busy man. I'm out here doing a damn thing. So right there is how you can reach me at 720-428-0885. 720-428-0885. And see, I'm a caring boomer. That's why I got this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, we love you. We love you. And the number is 720 720- Four two eight zero eight eight five from the window to the wall. To the wall. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Right. I love it. So yeah, the operators are standing by. Yep. I don't now, think. Yeah, I don't think Trump and Biden are boomers. They are the. Thanks, they are yeah. in. What are they called? The Greatest Generation. Yeah. They're called racists. They're, they're called. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh. They're called old. <laughs> they are old. They're from the old generation. And yeah, I don't. <laughs> They're the zombies we were talking about. They got STDs. They won't die. They just won't die. <laughs> the good news is they don't have testicles. We're having fun, dude. <laughs> they got blown right. up. <laughs> so now that was Rick Bryan with Don't Be Dumb. And now we're going to go to the second segment, which is Eugene Kinney. Oh, Jesus. And good news. Bad news. All right, hold on, hold on. Good news. Wait. Wait. The good news is he's in control. The bad news right. is he doesn't know how to do it. He's in control. <laughs> bad news is he doesn't like boomers. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Sound off in the comments if you... <laughs> here's, what I, here's what I think just happened, right? Okay. Um, John is pissed at me now <laughs> because of the boomer <laughs> comment. Because... We agreed twice. Ah, uh, he was going second. <laughs> twice before the show started. I was, oh, that John shit. Was going, <laughs> okay. I'll go. I'll no, go. No, I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm in here now. No, oh, no, no. no. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just no, saying. I fucked we, up. We I agreed fucked up. and confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> I screwed up. I screwed up. It wasn't because I'm pissed. Because my short-term memory stuck. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll go. I'll go. No, no, I, I don't. I'm just, me. I'm just joking. I'm, yeah, crazy. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. What? Uh, I up twice. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Uh, may they both get the kids in their shorts. <laughs> oh, Rick, what is that? Oh, oh, you put a link in there. Okay, cool. All right. No, just a laughing emojis. It came up. Sorry, as, Eugene. It, it came up as Sorry. this. <laughs> Face yeah, it's a smiling blue face, 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 smiling blue face, smiling blue face, smiling blue face. Smiling blue face. <laughs> that, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. I Ladies and gentlemen. Off. No, don't. that's okay. No, no big deal. Welcome to Good News, Bad News. That was great. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you're in the green room and you're closing and then the, the, <laughs> the MC calls the your name pitch. in the middle spot. Yeah, yeah. And you got to go do that. <laughs> All right, cool. That just happened That's with me happened. and John's last show that I was on. Was it really? They put me, yeah, yeah, I was supposed to be in speakers <laughs> and they called me. <laughs> Jesus. <All right. laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I've been there. I've been there. It happened. No big deal. All right. Good news, bad news. First story. And let's see what the first story is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, all right. This is, uh, this, this, this is crazy. Oh, man. A man allegedly <laughs> arrested for allegedly taking a leg from a person hit by a train and eating it <laughs> in broad daylight. I don't know. Zombies too? I'm not sure why I'm laughing at this, but this is what happened in California. What it the says, fuck? the crash is believed to have severed the leg of the pedestrian, but the situation is said to have become more horrifying... Um, deputies learned that a man allegedly removed evidence, the leg from the scene. Uh, his alleged actions were witnessed by a crew of workers who were laying concrete outside. And then they give the name. One of the workers told, uh, I'm not sure, but from where, but he walked away. He was waving uh, the person's leg. Now let's go on to the next thing here. And he was hitting it and he was hitting, he was biting it and he was hitting it against the wall probably to you know tenderize it but um to fuck <laughs> good <laughs> hell don't sound don't say it like that's normal i'm just saying 
Don't How crazy? Just say it like that. You know the tender is it? What the fuck? <laughs> How crazy is that? Uh, oh and God. It's guys. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. No guys. I saw no that when guys, I when I saw the headline, and allegedly uh, this was absolutely uh, confirmed, and he picked up a leg that had been severed from a person who had been hit by a train, and he took Where some bites out of it. Where the hell did you find this? No, 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 I'm gonna tell you about that. But um, I told you, I told you, I I subscribe to some crazy, crazy shit. Oh my god! <laughs> he just Gross. was eating it. Yeah, and he was he was he was nibbling on it, and you can look it up. But that's uh, that's oh. like an issue. He saw late World Hunger. Yeah, that's gotta be a April Fool's joke. Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, you know what the the best April Fool's joke this year was? Um, uh, Seven Eleven said they were coming out with hot dog water. Oh, good. <laughs> Did they really say that? Yeah. Yeah. Was, oh, fuck. Bro. I was like, oh, my God. And it, it got me for a second because I was thinking, would I drink hot wild water? Would I? Uh, if it was carbonated? You know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Back to. Uh, you had the bed. cereal milk place? The what? In Las Vegas, the cereal milk. Everything no. they make is with cereal milk. You know how the milk tastes after yeah, it soaks after in it gets, cereal? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole store in, uh, I think it's the Cosmopolitan, that uh, the casino. Uh, there's a milk, I think it's some milk. It's called milk something, but it's all, it might be cereal milk. Uh, everything is made. The, the ice cream, everything's made from cereal milk. It's fucking good. <laughs> I, this, as far as I know, this is not, that sounds fantastic, Rick, by the way. As far as I, I know... This is not an April Fool's joke. As far as I know. Because Did it come out today? No. Okay. No. And you know what makes that uh, leg meat go down a little easier? It's <laughs> <laughs> <Some> potato piss. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cereal milk. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I get it. It would be delicious. I bet it would be. It's, mm. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping that it, oh, now that you've mentioned it, I'm hoping that it is going to be April Fool's. But it's, if they if it is an April Fool's, they fooled me by bringing it out yesterday. <laughs> Did they arrest the man? Yeah. He was, it was a police arrest. I mean, the whole story is a police arrested a guy for eating a leg. Yeah, that's the, I mean, that's the. Yeah. The bottom line of the whole damn thing. So anyway, then you know, if he goes to prison, he's going to be eating something else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, As, like, hey, I hear you like meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's move I keep forgetting about the next slide, damn it. Thank you. Next. Thank you very much. You need to get one of those. Yeah. They're cool as shit. Here we go. Harvard says it removed human human skin. From God the binding damn. of a night. <laughs> There's a theme. What the? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> From the binding of a 19th century book. Okay. So uh, this has got multiple. I'm, I'm not going to read a, a lot of these. But this is multiple things. But it says, while books bound in human skin are now objects of fascination and revulsion, the practice once was somewhat common, termed. Oh, man. Can you read that word right there? Anthro... Anthropodermic. Anth well, let's go with anthropodermic. Uh, anthropodermic. And then the next word along with that, too. Bibliopega. There you go. But what did you say, Rose? A little leg will do. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, this is a long story about a book. Um, here is, let's see. Let's see, Wednesday, da, 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 after a lot of criticism, after careful studies, uh, they decided they were going to take the binding of the human skin off. But this is the note that was left inside the book by the person who did the binding and wrote the book. Uh, he actually tells, you would think that they he had some kind of like legal skin or something like that. But no, he had ripped the skin off of a dead person, stole it. 
and put it on the book. And then the book, <laughs> it's, 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 it is a crazy, crazy ass story. Goddamn now, book is this? It's been in Harvard. It's in the Harvard Library. And it's been in Harvard Library for a very, very, very long time. Everybody knew it was there. Everybody knew that it was human skin. Evidently, uh, as it'll say on a couple of slides from now, uh, Harvard, there was a, like, when you did a um, tour of Harvard Library, you know, this was, this was a, a must-see. The human skin <laughs> binded book. <laughs> so which woke pussy made it to where it can't be there no more? Yeah. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go with the name of the book. Da, 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 da. All right. Now, how did, <laughs> how did the book go? How did the book get to Harvard? You might ask. Okay. UPS. The book. <laughs> What can Brown do for you? No, no, it can deliver you a human book. Uh, oh, no. The book arrived at Harvard in 1934 uh, via uh, the American diplomat John B. Stutson, heir to the hat fortune. The Stutson hat guy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stetson. Yeah, yeah. The Stetson hat guy? Plenty of those um, hats. I'm pretty sure that there's probably some human skin Stetson hats out there that uh, oh, people right. don't know about. Let me see these comments. Let's see. I just Googled it. If, it's I, find true. A hoe in, if I find a toe in my brim, I'll let you know. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> God almighty. Yuck. Yuck. Oh, you Googled that shit, Sarah? Thank you, now Sarah. your algorithm's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, it says, blame the church for feeding you the body of Christ. Once a year. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Angela. Yeah. That's uh, funny, man. That's I, great. I, I, wouldn't be Leo Piggy with it. <laughs> I'm going to go on home. That's the closer. That's the, I'm going to go home now. That was <laughs> just nuts. <laughs> oh, it says, yes, there are photos, in, in case you're wondering, of the guy walking away. Um, and on that very first shot that I showed you, it's the guy picking up the leg. They've got, I mean, it's evidently, allegedly, they have video of the whole damn thing of a guy, man, picking up a severed leg, and um, yeah, they could have used that human skin to fucking bind a book, man. Well, that's <laughs> that's different. Cadaver skin on your nose—that's different than because you probably had something that was removed from your nose and you didn't have. An, I don't know, but I'm just guessing. But that's different from. You know, and it took my ball and made a book, huh? Stealing some lady's back skin and putting your book in it. <laughs> Come on, my book's almost complete. I just need some back skin to really bind this thing up. Oh, let's see here. There was a guy with. You think they noticed because it started growing hair? With this kid. yes. Uh, hey, wasn't that <laughs> Silence of the Lamb? What did you say, Rick? They think they started noticing because it was growing hair. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> That's sick shit. That's sick shit. Ugh. Oh, hey, Zanzan, what's up, man? Uh, all my Ed Gein, uh, Rose, Ed Gein is what uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based off of. Oh, was that the? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but it's not from Texas. It's from Wisconsin, like Rose is talking about. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is based off of Ed Gein, who was out of Wisconsin. Well, why do they call it the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. I never, I don't know. I, I learned that when I was down there in Texas when we went to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house where they had the filming the of it. The Wisconsin Chainsaw Massacre is too many syllables, oh. man. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> Stupid. roll. It doesn't roll like Texas does it. It sure doesn't. It does. <laughs> no, it was something wow. about the, the house being, or the, yeah, the house was moved or some shit. Oh, Texas, okay. I think. No, oh, okay. can't remember exactly what it was, but yeah, we we heard about it when we were down there. Probably the money guy went. You know, I don't mind putting money into this movie, but you know, I'm from Texas. Is there any way we can make it happen in Texas? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, or uh, Angela, I don't see your All comment them? was censored. What? What comment was censored? Angela was said, my... "Was my comment censored?" And I don't let me see. see. Did I miss comment. an Angela comment? I don't. I don't think I missed mm -hmm. one, Angela. 
The last one before the one that you just put up um, was Blame the Church. That's the one I had. Is there one between Blame the Church and the other one? Maybe it didn't go through, but I don't see it being censored at all. Cannibalism for Easter? Interesting, she said. That was the only other one I see. No. Okay. Yeah, no, Rose, I got that. I eat one. I ate one too. I saw what you did. <laughs> I, I, I saw what you did there. That was his phone number. Oh, <laughs> I ate one too. Yeah, it was not for real, but I mean, it was the joke. It was cool. All right, cool. not for real. He ate the people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So actually, no, no. Actually, with that Ed Gein stuff, they were talking about how they owned a, a butcher shop. So, oh. whoa! They were serving up people to the people. Made it easy. I'm pretty sure I've had some barbecued people somewhere along the way, Bar- you know, Texas. Or- and moving on, next, next, Kansas next, City. next, <laughs> next, next, next. <laughs> no wonder you don't like boomers. Do you? <laughs> well, Jeff, that's, that's what I was talking about. Boomers are the worst, man. They're tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, cool. Oh no. <sighs> Uh, let's see here. I said there, wait, I said there were secret books made. No, I didn't. <laughs> sex book made of foreskins? No, I did uh, not. Ba- a sex book made, made of foreskins. Foreskin. Oh, that was funny. I, no, I did not. It's a short novel. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that, that, didn't see that at all. I didn't see that at all. But that was funny as hell. All right. And next up. Here we go. Bizarre banana fight <laughs> breaks out in Pennsylvania gas station. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'm just gonna read what they say. A fight that began with a banana a fight that began with bananas being thrown inside a Pittsburgh gas station has led to a person hospitalized and the clerk <laughs> faces charges. The incident occurred at the Sunco. Yeah, at the Sunco located da da who cares? Uh, Craig Street, da 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 da. The fight began when a customer threw a banana at the gas station employee, who then threw the banana back. The customer and staff then began throwing multiple bananas back and forth. <laughs> Please said. So far, I'm like, this is, I don't know why he's going to jail. This is exactly what you should do when a person throws a banana at you. But then it says, the customer, Ooh, right. <laughs> the customer then punched one of the workers in the face. Oh, well. That's how it always happens right there. Somebody just goes overboard and doesn't recognize the humor in what's happening. Um, news report says an employee, and um, whatever his last name is, Pittsburgh. Come on, then, get it. No, what please, is his name? Um, his, name is, <laughs> his name is that right there. You Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> then shit. chase the customer into the parking lot and hit him several times in the head with a PVC pipe. Now... <laughs> First of all, you got a PVC pipe ain't gonna kill nobody you, unless you got a big, big bunch of PCP pipe, and you got to swing it with some major force. But you know, to put somebody in, in the hospital, uh, the customer is currently hospitalized in critical condition. You got to fill a PCP pipe with concrete to put somebody in the hospital in critical. He condition. He had to have been hitting him with it bluntly. Like not oh at him, face like on at the edge of okay yeah, uh, yeah that's hard yeah, to I'm, I was trying to think of this I'm like you know those don't swing <coughs> very fast like a bat like it, no, no you would no. have to be hitting them bluntly yeah wow yeah. but anyway what well, started out banana, you learn you gonna learn today <laughs> what started out as a humorous dick joke <laughs> turned it. Led the third degree of soap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Still Rose, back on the head. <laughs> oh. going off on it. <laughs> it's been so long since my last banana fight. All right. <laughs> well, and also. Move us right into John's dirty stuff. You guys are good. If, yeah. Girls are good. <laughs> if you, you know. That's, that's all know. on you, you, Angela. You can fight a banana anytime you want to. You know that. <laughs> you can get in a but banana you, light <laughs> anytime you want. Go ahead. Gas station bananas, man. You're in trouble <laughs> to begin with. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I never get produce at a gas station. It is a wonder that those ripe ass, no, not even ripe, those unripe bananas that you pick up at a gas station didn't kill him first. You're right. Because yeah. they're hard as shit. It's like throwing rocks at people. You are absolutely right. 
So, all right, cool. So, there you go. And that is my uh, segment here. Uh, uh, don't. Oh, now, they're, now they're blocking some. They're blocking some of Rose. Bring it. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't throw up Rose's comment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Rick. Oh, I'll just throw up Rick's comment. Uh, yeah, y'all dirty. Where is Rose? <laughs> 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 All right. She'll take it bluntly. <laughs> That's funny as shit. That's funny as shit. Oh, <laughs> Lordy, you are so right. Okay, 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 cool. Ah, uh, Lord, that was great. Um, there you go. Uh, thank you very much. That was good news, bad news for this evening, and I, <laughs> I appreciate. Thank it. you. Uh, thank that was you, fun. Eugene. And let's uh, talk about uh, your sponsor, if you don't mind. Oh, hello. Let's see. John, I love the way you run a show. Except I yeah. fucked up the order, but other that, than that. But that ain't, that that ain't even a problem. That ain't even a problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> please. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sponsored by, and when I, just, when I say we, I say me. Every single show I have live streamed in the last 14 years wow seriously 14 years i've been live streaming this ain't my first rodeo here but every single show has been sponsored by this lady right here maria naven lasseter with great real estate it says right there caring honest professional um because that's what she is she cares a whole lot about her customers she is so honest it's crazy and she is so professional it's amazing. She's got 25 plus years in the business. Two listings coming up um, in a week that are going to go on the market live right now. Um, but if you're interested, you know, the rates are coming down. The rates are what they are. The rates are going to be what they are. If you're interested in buying and selling a home, give her a call. 720-401-1889 for any reason whatsoever. What's my home worth? How much can I get into? Is my credit going to be? She's got all the answers. And if she doesn't have the answers, she's got the people you need to talk to to get the answers. So there you go. Thank you very much for sponsoring all of this, Maria. We really, I, yes, I thank you. Really appreciate thank it. You, thank Maria. you, Maria. Yeah, that all number do. again is 720-401-1889. Now get yourself something to write with, uh, you know, a pen, a pencil, maybe a quill. Anyway. <laughs> Some blood to get a skin from a book and how to get to- yeah, <laughs> right it on scratch it into some skin from a book. <laughs> yeah, seven two zero four zero one one eight eight nine. And that, uh, thank you, Maria, and thank you, Eugene, for going without Dude. being, uh, you no. know. And now, uh, it's time for our last segment. Don't be dumb. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> I'm catching up. <laughs> That's how you no, do that. It's time. Comedy right there, ladies and gentlemen. That was good. That was good. I like that a lot. That's, I like that uh, it's uh, time that for <laughs> John's jokes. I know, man. I screwed up, but I brought it back. And this, <clears throat> excuse me, is the random clip art edition. I don't know what those people are supposed to be doing. I just, the way I do it is... That has a search engine on my uh, CD-ROM with the 50,000 clip parts. So I'll just add, you know, I'll do a couple of letters. I won't even spell out a whole word and then search. And that came up. So I wrote a joke for this clip art, which is the next slide. Oh, R- Rose, there you go. Put your mm-hmm. penis in there and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Little... Well, that was perfect timing. She said, I need to talk to Maria. Put your penis in there. <laughs> Excuse me for coughing. Yeah, that was kind of, I should have held off a minute there. But, you know, sometimes a dick joke, you can't wait. It's a exactly. premature dick joke. True that. Then this is, I just, look at this guy. He's, not only are the flowers limp, but... Uh, <laughs> So he's hoping for the Viagra. So this segment's going to go fast, I can tell. I like that one. I like that one. Oh, that's good. All right. What do you think? I call this one lollipops or balloons. I don't know. 
Oh, yeah, I thought I that there's... was a Chinaman balancing the plates on a stick. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's ooh. good. I like that. I didn't even think about that. Or I thought it was like a really weird gender reveal where they're going to have a boy <laughs> and a girl. But see, I'm going to go with see Alice. Oh, is see better? Alice. oh all right. Tom Parkin joins. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> hey, what up, Tom? All right. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, you know. Is the Alice better? There. Yeah, thanks for the input there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know which is better. But look at that. That's a woman. That's supposed to be someone in a bathtub. Mm. That's bad clip art, if you ask me. But I put in the fart there. I mean, that fart wasn't on there. But, you know, I, I tried thought to make the, it look like. I thought the first two things floating up closer to her were her breast. Oh man! And then I was yeah, like, wow, that's kind of. <laughs> She's <laughs> got that one breast is a double on the left. There. <laughs> the other one's square, so she's she's in trouble. <laughs> what is that? A is that a tri nip? What do you, what, do you, what would you call that? A bi nip? <laughs> a bi nip. Yeah, bi -nip, I call yeah. it a bi nip. Yeah, I didn't even see Cute. that. That's like a Rorschach test. What do you see in the water? Though? Yeah, no. Well, I, I see, see waves, uh, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you perverts see, but that's, I see waves. Now I see caca. That's, that's the difference in the generations <laughs> there. Yeah. I'm that's woke. I know better breath. than to talk Ooh. about that woman. Uh, this is <laughs> what is that? I mean, it's look caca. at that. That is caca. Steaming caca, uh, man. Yes. Warm I think it's, pile of poop. I think it's supposed to be a baked potato, but Let's I don't see. know. Oh, How do I God. say? This looks like it has been inside a human prior to this photograph. Wow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, it looks like vomit. Let's just move on. Oh, uh, all right. you, didn't think, you, you didn't think vomit, oh. did you? <laughs> no, I was. I don't know what I was thinking. But that makes sense. Yeah. But then I'm like, well, you know, this clip art artist should be fired, I think, yeah. for creating that. Yeah. Then look at this. This is what the hell is this part two? <laughs> what is that? I didn't. Oh, it's oh. a kidney. All right, blowjob oh, going blow bad or a kidney. Bad. <laughs> I, I would agree with both of those. I would agree with both of those. Yeah. It does look like a kidney now that you mention it. But yeah. boy, I hope the other one's in better shape than that. You know, you got two of them. Lord so, of If your kidney's doing that, it's, you might be a redneck. If that's a blowjob hey. going bad, it would be <laughs> like that. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm moving on. Oh, that was funny, John. <laughs> now that, you know what? I actually looked up what this is supposed to be after I saw it. And it's a cocoon. It's no, it's a, it's a cocoon. It's supposed to be a butterfly coming out of a cocoon, I guess. Oh, I thought that was a chitlin. <laughs> well. Tripe. <laughs> yeah, tripe. John's like, like, I got tripe. nothing. I got nothing. For that. <laughs> no, that, that, right. looks like, that looks like a lower intestine. Like, a, you know, a chitlin. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. It's my ear. What do you got for that? that. <laughs> I think these earbuds are effective. I can hear, hear shit out of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm sorry. All right. Look at that now. Blowing the chitlin. I don't know how to get rid of this. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did do a little altercation to this i made the horn flesh colored oh okay okay that, you know, I, can, I think I, that's supposed to be some sort of horn and then i added the you know well let's, let's see if i can point to it here no, i can't point to it oh, but wait, i no. added I should put, <laughs> oh shit i need to put that on top i need to put you on the top layer i have you on the bottom layer. Man. oh yeah he could now, point right through it Yep. My wife said that on our wedding night. I need to put you on the top layer so you can point to it. Because you ain't on the top layer. All right, cool. All right, cool. Oh, Lordy, John. Okay. Sorry. That's that's okay. That's all right. All right, wait, now. Wait, wait, I thought it was an oh, egg or something. That was the intestine. Okay, she thought uh, it was Go to Rose's comment, yeah. 
calling for cicadas. The calling of the cicadas. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Way to go, Rose. That's it. Like the calling of the cicadas. Of cicadas up no. Cause, yeah, see, because that penis doesn't have any testicles, so they already fell off the cicada. <laughs> Why are mine always so dirty? Look at this yeah, now. Man. I put the arrow in there at the bottom, but I I did not change this image at all. And doesn't that look like? Oh, is that know, how he's holding on? The horse got his peepee inside of his butt. What the? <laughs> I guess yeah. Or he's got his yeah. peepee inside the horse or something. Well, Somebody's I, got there. I actually pictured his butt cheeks just squeezing the penis, not actually inside. <laughs> Hey, he's holding All right. on. How's he holding on, man? No, <laughs> look at this, mom. No hands. <laughs> but, the, but then the question is, and these are the hard hitting questions we have in John's excuse me, John's joke. <laughs> I'm already laughing. If, uh, if you're just holding on with your butt cheeks, mm -hmm. it's still considered bestiality, or is that just safety? No, no. You have to penetrate to be bestiality, right? Uh, oh, I no, guess. No, 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 you don't. No, I'm no. Not talking about this. Because <laughs> you could actually like jack a horse <laughs> off, and that would be bestiality too. I'm it? not getting counsel later on life. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, fellas. I, <laughs> I <laughs> think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, if I had my phone, I would look up the definition just, of bestiality. But uh, yeah, do uh, that. Put that in your algorithm, Rick. I have lived. <laughs> I have lived through all the cancellation years. <laughs> I've already lived through those. <laughs> all I'm saying is there's something going on with this horse and this guy. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not normal. Okay. Call okay. Old fashioned trick ride. We have an answer. Oh, that that's is what it clip is. Clip art bestiality. Oh, this uh -huh. clip art is Angela's bestiality. Calling Thank you, Angela. She's I'm gone. The president yeah. uh, blocked that. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. The bestiality comment is all right. No problem. problem. No problem. And, yeah. and there is poor is your imagination art clip. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> Rose's favorite portion of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, and I always do dirty. I don't know why. but dude, I miss, everybody asked about you last week, John. Everybody asked what? about you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, to the point of what? Like... Did John get yeah, fired? We were like, fuck. We are no. like, can we just move on? No, Jesus, I, to the point, I was like, piss. I'm like, no. Let's, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm telling jokes here. You know, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I had a show, you guys. Look at this one now. Why is your hand on my ass? Doesn't it look like he has his hand on her ass? It does. It looks that, like she likes it. Looks it looks like like, that's what I was going to say. It looks like she likes it a lot. He looks I know, like I thought he's about... like. It looks like he's like. Why is my hand on your ass? <laughs> you fucking like it. Because she's looking at him like. Took you long enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like, what I, I should have said. Here. Took you long enough. But yeah, I'm sorry for getting so close. There, you guys got a good look at my face. Get a close up on John's nostrils, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this poor this. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but apparently the COVID. guy doesn't have any hands for oh. it's COVID. Yeah. He doesn't have any hands. And I don't know what that is on his left. He ran out of, he ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> this is Man, I, I'll tell you this. If you need a plunger and a scrubber and a snake after you use the bathroom, Dude. You better go see a doctor. Well, look man. at his fat ass. You know he's not oh, eating, right? Dude. So. Yeah. <laughs> let me yeah, let me wait. let me let me let me tell you the story. Mild right. mild mannered <sighs> gamer. John. Oh. No, let's not go with John. Mild mannered gamer. Pink installation. Okay. So pink installation lives downstairs. That's that's his gaming name. Downstairs of his mom's house. Just your average ordinary nobody overweight gamer but then when any toilet in the city gets plugged he turns into <laughs> toilet bowl right right this is toilet bowl <laughs> this is toilet bowl after he has just cleared a big clog and there are people standing above him 
throwing down confetti, which is used oh. toilet paper, you know, because he's toilet bowl, right? So that's that's what All I'm right. looking, that's what I'm saying. Well, then that brings up a whole other question too, uh -huh. and I don't want to get too graphic, but why is the used toilet paper blue, man? I mean, that's, <laughs> it's another problem. Because of the altogether. chemicals, man. You know, when it gets the in the blue water, and it becomes blue. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he accidentally flushed his hands down the toilet. That's yes. that's a bummer when that happens. You guys though. have lost your minds. That sucks. Okay, cool. Anyway, All so. Right. Okay, maybe it's not toilet bowl. <laughs> I don't know. We did we did a superhero build up to call him toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was, that was, that was I was in too. I was on board. Toilet was bowl like, man. Yeah, he got back you're right. Yeah, you know, throw in a man. Yeah, throw in a man. <laughs> but but that is the end of John's jokes. Toilet bowl was like a like a jelly roll. You know, it's like. A, a reference to his size without saying how big he is. You know what I'm saying? Toilet right. bowl. That was, mm. and his face is blue. I I did not catch that. But he had a he had a gas mask on. You know what's great about that? I can go yeah. Back. yeah. Yeah, he had a gas mask on. Oh, and there it is. There I am again. Wow, Another check close that shit out. Hey guys, guess where we are? We're at the beginning, beginning again. Oh. <laughs> we wrapped around to the start. <laughs> All right, so where are we at? This is okay now. So those are the three segments. Ooh, the blue genie. Sure. I like that. That's a great See? name. Genie, yeah. That's a you, great said, name. you said you yeah. said toilet bowl. I know. I couldn't think I of nothing. I, 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 I was you. I was so focused. <laughs> I was so focused on the backstory. I hadn't. Put I was a name. in. I was like, yeah, he went with it. He's right. <laughs> what does he have? Toilet bowl. I had to, I didn't have a name in mind. I just had the story, the backstory. So I, I should have I should have worked that out a little bit better. You're right. You're right. That's all right. That's okay. Right. Now I don't have a sponsor, so unfortunately, <laughs> if you want if you want to sponsor John's jokes, mm. yeah, play it again, Sam. Let's do the whole show over again. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, We're working uh, on getting you a sponsor. Yes. All right. No, we all are. Right. You're running it, John. Oh, okay. Well, now, <laughs> what we're going to do next, it's time for good news, bad news, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, it, now what we're going to do is go around Ugh. and see what's coming up here. So, uh, Rick, what do you got coming up? Nothing this week, man. I'm just fixing basements and a couple showers, working my butt off. No, no comedy this week for me. Yeah. All right. No April Fool's joke neither. I ain't got no, no. goddamn comedy this week. <laughs> no, I, I signed up for a bunch of shows, but I don't know if I'll get any. But uh, hopefully I'll get some. I can't remember. It's uh, what's his name? Bobby Collins at the <laughs> South Club. And I don't remember who's at the downtown club, but I signed up for some shows. I did five shows, six shows last week. That's why I wasn't on. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bobby's at the South need... Club? I don't know Bobby's coming to town. Yeah, he's at the South Club. Sweet. Bobby so this week is the first week that no, no shows for either of us? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I, I mean, I'll find week. out tomorrow right. if I got any. But Right. All right, cool. Right on. That was and what day. about you, Eugene? Same old, same old, same old, same old. I'll we be all here. kick. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. I'll yeah, be here we'll, next week. We'll relax. Um, I got to work on my taxes, so it's good I don't have a lot. Um, yeah. By the way, uh, we didn't say it, but, you know, share, subscribe. Peace. Like, it all helps. The button. Yeah. There they are. Push them. Push the button. If you wanted to make a short <laughs> of your own from a a um, you know segment of the show that you really liked and do your own little short on YouTube, I don't know if you do that because you know I don't know. But if you do, that's okay with us. We don't we don't care about that. We'd love to see that happen. So anyway, um, and, yeah. But don't do the bestiality stuff. <laughs> Well, Rose is down to sponsor, but she doesn't eat legs, and bestiality yeah, no. is out of the question. So, all right. All right. <laughs> so, so, John, no sponsor for you, bud. <laughs> That's okay. That Maybe got, I can get a one zoo in the to works. sponsor me. Yeah, got, got right. one, I got one in the works right. for you, my friend. Cool. Sweet, man. All right. So, that's our show. I was going to mention the whole thing about Sharon and all that next, but I guess, you know. Right here, right he below me. Here. There's a oh shit, he got, my fault, John. He got Here. he got even with me Here. for fucking 
you know. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I wasn't going to mention it. I'm glad you mentioned it, Eugene. So that's our show, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be back next Monday, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Thank you. And um, well, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Do you guys have anything else? That's it. We're done. We're doing it. See All right. Next Monday. Yeah, take it easy, everybody. Uh, See you Monday. And we are, wait, there's a, uh -oh, we you got... guys look forward to next week. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, thank Rose. you, Rose. Thank you. Good night, guys. Uh, Tom got one, too. Wait, wait, Steve Tom. wait. Yeah, wait, yeah they're, Tom. Still, they're still commenting. Please, please. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tom. Shout out, Tom. <laughs> Tom is a local filmmaker who's recorded a bunch of stuff for me, which is really cool. Oh, so nice. Thanks oh, for tuning in, right on, yeah. man. Sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Tom. Enjoyed it. Okay, I'm going to press a button now.